What's going on, everybody? It's Bryn. I know you know it's me. Let me just clean these spectacles really quick. So, I'm just finishing up my deliveries for tonight. Had a good night. Had a good night. Um, got some good action from DoorDash tonight, which is unusual. And I've noticed, I'm in Massachusetts, I've noticed that DoorDash is busier in Massachusetts than it is in Rhode Island. But anyways, I'm finished with my night. It's only quarter past nine. It's not too late. But I am outside of familiar territory being here. It's not unfamiliar territory in regards to it being Massachusetts. I lived in Massachusetts for over 10 years. So it's not unfamiliar territory in that regard. But as a nomad, as a car dweller, it is unfamiliar territory because I usually sleep out in Rhode Island. Um, I've slept in Massachusetts a few times, um, many different places across Massachusetts, but not this particular spot here. Uh, not just the location, but not this type of place, okay? So I discovered that there's a casino right across the street here. Uh, and for those of you who are from Massachusetts, I'm actually going to be going to Plain Ridge Casino, okay, if you're interested in knowing. And these casinos are open 24 hours a night. So it's not uncommon for people to be parked outside of these places all hours of the night, uh, just in there throwing their money away. Uh, but I am not planning on throwing my money away but I am going to venture into this unfamiliar territory and try my car camping stealth mode uh, skills there, right? I'm a pretty good stealth uh, camper at this point, and I think I'm going to be just fine. But what if I did sleep in a casino? What will happen? Will anything mysterious happen tonight? Will somebody try to knock on my window? Will somebody come out of the casino all drunk and pissed off because they spent their life savings? and see some Subaru off in the distance and say, I'm gonna go and f that car up. Well, I hope they don't. I really hope they don't. Because I have weapons in here, okay? Um, they're not illegal weapons. Uh, it's, it's things that could be used as a weapon. I can kill someone with a butter knife, okay? But let's go over to this casino and see how this night goes. We're gonna set up shop. We're gonna put our camping skills to the test. Stealth mode, let's go. Okay, so let's uh, focus this camera. There we go. So here we go. This is Plain Ridge Casino, Foxborough, Massachusetts. Actually, it's borderline Plainville, uh, Foxborough, Massachusetts. I don't wanna piss off any any mass holes out there. You know I got love for you out there, Massachusetts folks. You know I got love for you. So, uh, let's see if this is, uh... Let's see what kind of parking situation we got here. Casino open 24 hours. If it's a parking garage, I'm not too... I'm not, I'm not okay with that. I want to park in the parking lot. So here's your parking lot. It looks pretty wide open here, so. Okay. I'm so used to parking in Walmart parking lots that it's like, it's kind of out of my comfort zone to park anywhere else. But we're gonna do it anyways. to this curb. I think right here will do the trick. Okay, here we go, man. Let's set up shop. Always making sure that there's nobody sitting in any of these cars. So far, so good. Let's get them up. There's window number one. Okay. 
window number two. Here goes window number three. Window number four. The only window that doesn't have black duct tape on it. I need to put duct tape on this window cover. But it's okay for now. It does the trick, but if you don't have black duct tape on the other side or black linen on the other side, that reflectix is gonna shine through the window. Even if your window is slightly tinted, it'll still shine through. Okay, but this is a very dark spot that I'm in, so. Now we gotta jump all the way in the back. So far, so good, folks. I ain't worried about a thing, to be honest with you. I ain't worried about a thing. And you know what? The, what here's my mentality with it, right? If something bad were to happen to me in my car, I hate to say it, that's just the way it is, right? You know, you know I can't prevent somebody from trying to break into this car. Much like you can't prevent somebody from trying to break into your home, right? Are you safer in your home as opposed to me in my car? Perhaps. But if we're living and allowing fear to dictate our choices, I might as well not get onto the highway every single day because I could be rear-ended by a truck. I could get T-boned. You know what I mean? I could get into a horrific car accident every single day. Every day is a risk. But if I let fear of that happening to me, I wouldn't get anywhere because I wouldn't drive. I feel the same way about camping, you know? If I had a fear every single night of someone breaking into my car, I wouldn't have done this. I wouldn't have made it 13 months. Um, but what I have found out is that, you know, like all tragic situations, you know, um, some of them you just can't control. And if someone was to break into my car at night, that would just be one of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'd do my best to get out of the situation. I'd do my best to defend myself. But that's all I can do. So... Uh, just to get that out of the way, to get that thought out there, you know what I mean? It doesn't run around in my mind too much, though. It doesn't get in the way of me enjoying my night. I'm pretty sure tonight's going to be another fun, adventurous night. And you're coming along with me. Let's jump in the back. We're going to put on that back window cover. And then we're going to, you know, turn our lights on in the car, you know what I mean? We're going to get nice and stealth mode and chill in the back, watch some Netflix. I'm not too hungry tonight, but I do have snacks on board. Um, but um, I'm more thirsty than hungry. I got my water here, so I'm good to go. Let's jump in the back. While I'm in the front seat like this, I'm moving my seat up. Give myself some space in the back. And again, I'm just looking, always looking. If I was to see somebody staring at me, abandon. Okay, we would leave. We would leave this area. I just wouldn't be at ease with that. All right, so let's make this quick. All right, the back window cover is up. Why don't you come on back here? You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Uh, we're in the red light lounge now, guys. We're in stealth mode. Uh, we're good to go. But I want to show you something real quick. Check this out. <laughs> Hold on, let me take this down. Whoops, there we go. I put my boys on it, man. I put the boys on the red light lounge, man. On the red light light in the red light lounge. Isn't that pretty cool? It's pretty cool. If you ask me, that's pretty cool. Keeps changing colors on me. Here we got green, blue, regular light, red light. So what are we gonna do in here? I'm not hungry. I am thirsty. You know, I am thirsty, so I'll drink. <clears throat> temperature wise 38 degrees chilly not too bad though and uh we're gonna play some pac-man you guys want to join me come on let's play some pac-man let me show you my pac-man skills let me show you all right so here's the deal guys if i beat this level in one take you must subscribe y'all ready let's bounce
I'm gonna take out the bottom first. Take out the bottom. Take out the bottom. Take out the bottom, Bren. Take out the bottom. Don't, don't, no, 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 no. Uh-uh, that's it. Get the fruit, get the fruit. Ah, oh, just wasted time there. Up, 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 up. Got him. Shit. This game terrifies me. Up, 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 up. I should have saved that piece of fruit. I know I should have saved it. Him. I ate him. No, you bastard. I tried, guys. That I should at least get one sub. All right. If I get them all in two takes, it's still a victory for me. Care what y'all say. Which way should I go? Out, out. Got him. All right, listen, guys. Two takes isn't too bad. Somebody sub to the channel. Thanks for watching. So we're just out here in the red light lounge. I just did some push-ups on the mattress, man. Look at these guns. Okay, so um, now that we're in the back here, I wanted to propose to my subscribers uh, an opportunity. All right, I want you guys to be a part of one of my videos. Um, and I wanna do a Q&A. So let the questions fly. Just throw them all in the comment section. Any question that you have that you want me to answer on one of my videos, I will answer it. I will also um, shout you out on the video. I'll say, you know, here comes next question from so-and-so, you know. Uh, so think about it, you know. What kind of questions do you have for me? All right, guys, so I'm going to jump in the bed here. Let's see what it looks like. All right, guys, we're in the back here. Um, getting ready for bed, you know. We'll jump in here first, and then um, we're also gonna take out my iPad. We're gonna set this thing up as well, because I wanna watch some of my show. I got my gooseneck iPad holder, and we're gonna put our iPad right there, just like this. How about that? Okay, I'm gonna take out a few of these guys. Actually, all I need is one, really. Let's put this up here. Perfect. It's nice and quiet in this parking lot for now. Also, I wanna note this um, book light here. You see me use this for my cooking videos. I use this to light up my videos when I'm talking. This has so many uses, it's ridiculous. I highly recommend getting one of these lights if you're a car camper, okay? You can clip it anywhere and it has two lights and they're very strong lights. Okay, I'm gonna turn these on and then I'll turn the camera light off and I'll show you what it looks like. So these lights are perfect for just shining down if I need to grab something from under here or over here or if I need to grab something over there. So handy. Got it at Barnes and Nobles for, I think, $10. Okay, so I got my show here, The Walking Dead. Also got my Ninja Turtles queued up. Tried watching that 90s show. It was awful. You know, it wasn't even, like, reminiscent of the 90s even. It didn't have a 90s feel to it. And you can tell that they just created a brand new show and they threw all the old faces in there so it would get views. And it's just, it sucked. You know, that 70s show was awesome, but this show is horrible. So we're going to watch some Walking Dead, and uh, we're going to relax and then go to bed. Um, but I'm going to take you with me. Um, I will go to sleep and then wake up in the morning and let you know how the night went. So, All right, y'all. I'm getting ready for bed. Let's put these glasses away. I put my glasses right here next to me. Look at that. Very handy. So, so far, so good. I don't foresee any issues tonight. I'll see you guys in the morning and let you know how it went. Good night.
you're still here. Good morning. I'll tell you what. I slept all through the night. Very comfortable sleep. Um, this was a success. All right. Um, let me just turn this on. Oh, that's bright. Oh, God. Hold on a second. Sorry, guys. All right. So this was a success. I slept very well. Um, no complaints at all. Let me just wake up and we'll talk a little more. All right. Let me slap these on right here. All right. Let's get up. All right, so that was a great experience. Um, I had a great night's sleep, uninterrupted. And I will say this, uh, sleeping at the casino was actually even more peaceful than sleeping at Walmart. Um, nothing against Walmart, you know, that's that's my home and I'm very familiar with it and I'm used to the sounds of, of Walmart, right? But there just wasn't as much action in this casino parking lot. And I slept all the way through the night, undisturbed. And not only that, but when I woke up in the morning, there's also a Planet Fitness five miles up the road from this casino. So I'm on my way to Planet Fitness right now to start my day off as I usually do with my morning workout and also take a nice shower. And after that, I can start working from where I am here in Massachusetts. So that's the convenience of being a nomad gig worker in that no matter where I end up, no matter where I start my day, you know, I'll always find a place to sleep nearby. I'll always have a gym nearby, relatively close, right? And it's just very convenient. Um, however, on Wednesdays and Saturdays, I do have to work my way back towards Rhode Island to pick my son up um, and spend time with him. And that's no problem, you know, but most of the week, it doesn't really matter where I end up. I'm always ready to go. So I'm gonna head to the gym right now. This was a quick little video, quick little experiment. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.